Take a look, guys. This is such a cool contraption. Let's collect them all. Yeah! <laughs> that will never get old. That is crazy. This is a contraption where fallen stars just fly across the map and you don't have to do anything to collect them. You can just stand there and the fallen stars will over time fly across this uh, thingy. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. And then you can simply just uh, leave the computer and get a lot of fallen stars. So what exactly is a hike? Well, it's very simple to demonstrate. All you have to do is have a layer of an item and then another layer on top of it. Now, all you have to do is hammer it into a certain uh, shape or direction. In this case, if you want an item to go right, you hammer on the block four times, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So now that we have this nice funky pattern here, this is the going right pattern. I can't get it right, what's going on here? So here is how a hike works, I think. So we have the uh, actuators at the beginning and some wire, so we can turn it on and off. And then we can just like throw something onto the actuator, like this, turn it on, zoom, and it flies across. So if you want to look up how to use hikes, H or I K, then you can search it on YouTube. But in this video, we're going to be looking at the fallen star example. Now, the thing that makes this really interesting is the fact that you don't have to use actuators for this. All you have to do is place the blocks and hammer them in this direction to go this way and this direction to go that way. And you don't have to use any wires or anything. So if you have the time and patience to build a sky bridge and then hammer blocks on top of them, when a fallen star falls, this will happen and you can just stand in the middle of your world and collect all of the stars. How cool is that? And if you make a hole for them to fall down, you can actually make a collection point on the floor so all of the stars will land in the same place. But once again, this would take forever to place a sky bridge and then hammer all of the blocks manually. But it is possible. So then I was looking on Reddit and I came across this guy called Immediacy and he came up with a great system for collecting these stars and this is what that looks like let's uh, zoom into that check that out the stars sort of like go around uh, the square so that you can just uh, come back to it later on in the night and then collect them all so let's build that in person thank you immediacy for the build it's gonna be interesting to see what this looks like so here we are in our box it doesn't look as nice as Amidius's design but it should work the same so we have the triangles all the way across the map and what it should do is it should drag it across um, the cube. So where are the stars? Here's one, here's one. I got excited there. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? Look, 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 look. Oh, that is so cool. That makes such a cool pattern. So like you can just be like doing your stuff uh, in the world. And then you can be like, oh, it's time to collect the stars that are going absolutely crazy. So you can just like jump down and be like... Yes, thank you very much, thank you very much. So wow, that is very cool. That worked a lot better than I thought. So yes, immediacy, that is a very cool design, especially because you put like a star in the middle. The only problem is if you do this uh, legit, if you don't cheat, this will take hours and hours if you want the sky bridge to go all the way across the map. But just look at that, it makes such a cool pattern. And I like how fast they're going. <laughs> it would be cool if the stars actually had their damage attached to them still. So you could like fire them off like a cannon. <laughs> but that doesn't actually work. But still, that is incredible. Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. Check out this guy. He's going absolutely crazy. Look at him go. Woo. <laughs> this is actually going to be a very good thumbnail. So thank you, star. I love you very much and also guys remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Most people that watch these videos aren't subscribed and one of the biggest Terraria updates ever is coming out in 30 days. So there's going to be a lot of fun videos. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see what happens if we leave this for like a minute and then we're going to look at the total number of stars that we got in 10 hours. So stay tuned. What? Did it break?
That was strange. Okay, so maybe that's something to do with the hike. The something to do with a problem. Uh, I don't know, but look at that. Yeah, what? Is there a problem? Do we have a problem here? Oh no, now we have a problem. So guys, on to the final part of the video. How many fallen stars did we get in 10 hours of this contraption? Just for a moment, let's take a look at these stars flying about the place. We have the total number of stars inside that chest there. Just look at them go! Woo! <laughs> this is actually like game breaking. It's just stupid how fast they move. I can barely see them moving. So let's just collect them here. So the total number of stars that we got was a grand total of 1,856. So we got an average of 185 stars an hour. Pretty good. That is a lot of stars. 1,800. You can surely kill a lot of bosses and use the star cannon for a very long time using that. So that's all for today, guys. Remember to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.